OpenAI, them of ChatGPT fame, have just announced DALI 3. And this is going to be taking AI image generation to the next level. I thought Midjourney was the king of AI imaging, but DALI 3 is going to have something to say about that. And we're going to take a deep dive in what we know about DALI 3. Any viewers to my channel know that when it comes to AI image generation, as far as I'm concerned, Midjourney is king. Yeah, I've tried Stable Diffusion. I've tried Stable Diffusion XL. I've not really tried DALI 2, and I'll show you why. Uh, here is an example of DALI 2. So I put in here, Wolverine and Mariko in Loving Embrace, Marvel Cinematic Atmospheric Cool. And this is what we've come up with. I mean mangly faced here. They've tried to come up with some expressions. She's got Wolverine fingers. So this is based on a comic book that I've got. Anybody who uh, is familiar with Marvel Comics uh, will know that Wolverine and Mariko were a thing within the comics, okay? They were in a relationship in the comics and I wanted to recreate that in AI. So this basically is what DALI 2 delivered. Not very good. And that's why I'm not like, I'm pretty nonplussed about DALI and you know, I get sort of similar results in Stable Diffusion. But let's have a look at what happens when I use that prompt originally in Mid Journey. Yeah, that or that. That or that. It's miles ahead. These are the uh, various images that came up here. And we put in here, there's sort of, uh, obviously within Midjourney, you can have style. So this style 1000, style raw. But as you can see, this is what Midjourney does. This is what Dali does. Okay, with basically the same prompt. So that's why, as far as I'm concerned, Midjourney has got it for me. They're miles ahead of anybody else. And I like the Midjourney style, but there is a reason I'm excited about DALI 3 and I'm going to take you through it. So this is the announcement of DALI 3 from OpenAI. DALI 3 understands significantly more nuance and detail than our previous systems, allowing you to easily translate your ideas into exceptionally accurate images. So even Mid Journey, you know, it takes, yeah, you can get amazing images from Mid Journey, but sometimes there's a bit of trial and error involved and it doesn't always quite deliver the vision that I might have in my head. Often I'm blown away but sometimes getting that detail that you really want. I've struggled to get mid-journey to try to understand exactly what it is I'm trying to achieve and so uh, I've ignored it. So here are some examples of DALI 3 which will be available in the Open Eye Labs in October. Look at this, it even got text. Now if DALI 3 can pull this off this is not just about the text. As we know, Mid Journey, terrible at text, as is most AI art generators. So here we are, an illustration of an avocado sitting in a therapist chair saying, I just feel so empty inside with a pit-sized hole in its center. The therapist, a spoon, scribbles notes. Very, very descriptive, very, very precise. And OpenAI is saying DALI 3 produces images like this. The fact that it's got text is amazing. If that generates text because they put it in quotations here, then that's amazing. But look at the detail. An illustration, yes, tick. An avocado sitting in a therapist chair, tick. I've done one where I try to hit a robot sitting in a therapist chair for one of my thumbnails on one of the videos on this channel. And it took me ages to get it, what I wanted. And still, this is a, with Mid Journey, I didn't get what I wanted. But with this kind of precise detailing, this could be it. Here's another example. I mean, look at the detail in here. A 2D animation of a folk music band composed of anthropomorphic autumn leaves. Yeah. Each playing traditional bluegrass instruments. Pretty cool on the instruments. The hands look pretty good. I mean, do leaves have hands? Who's judging the hands on some leaves? I'll let them off. They're even wearing hats. Admist a rustic forest setting dappled with the soft light of a harvest moon. Again, the image generated seems to have captured exactly what the description wants in very precise 
detail. So if Dali 3 can really pull this off, then this is really great news because it's going to give Midjourney a real run for its money. Because as I said, as far as I'm concerned, Midjourney is king. But this is looking very impressive just because of the detail. Then you've got crazy images like this in front of a deep black backdrop, a figure of middle years. Okay. Her Tongan skin, rich and glowing, is captured mid-twirl, her curly hair flowing like a storm behind her. Her attire resembles a whirlwind of marble and porcelain fragments. Wow. The detail in that is incredible. And yet look at the picture. Illuminated by the gleam of scattered porcelain shards creating a dreamlike atmosphere. The dancer manages to appear fragmented, yet maintains a harmonious, fluid form. The use of natural language there to create this stunning image is really, really impressive. One more here. Photo of a lychee-inspired spherical chair. Yep. With a bumpy white exterior and plush interior. Okay, so again, look, it's described the exterior and the interior with very precise details and the images delivered that bumpy white exterior like a lychee and a plush my soft plush interior set against a tropical wallpaper now they put lychee in the wallpaper you could argue that maybe it's carried across the lychee theme into that whether that was intentional whether that's wanted or you wanted a more tropical feel you can debate but the detail is really really good i mean for me it will be interesting to see how photo real it is. Mid Journey has a brilliant cinematic photo style, as you can see. We look at my Mid Journey profile, some of the images that I've created here. Um, I mean, look, it's not perfect. They had problems with the hands on this original model here. Photorealistic uh, Japanese woman wearing a high detailed Cheongsam outfit there. A cool guy in his 30s with shaved bald head. I thank you. Uh, trimmed beard in the style of Chris Few, graffiti influenced. So as you can see, you know, these images that I create in Mid Journey, really, really good. And a lot of them really photo real like these, even though Mid Journey has its style. And I like the Mid Journey style. It has a very distinct art style and I like that. So back to Dali. Modern text to image systems have a tendency to ignore words. Yes, correct. This is an issue or descriptions, forcing users to learn prompt engineering. Mid-journey, love it. But I always describe mid-journey as a tool. And like any tool, you put it in the hands of a creative person and they can create incredible images and incredible things. And that is, when I say creative persons, it's somebody who understands the prompting. Yeah, the style number, uh, you know, whether you use Niji in Mid Journey or something like that, the cinematic stock photography or, you know, the, the film format and the stuff like that. Those people that really understand those things get amazing images out of Mid Journey. And that's what this is about. Dali 3 is saying, look, this shouldn't be about learning prompt engineering or learning special prompts to get the best out of your imaging. Dali 3 represents a leap forward in our ability to generate images that exactly, exactly adhere to the text you provide. And this is because of the power of chat GPT, which really is the king of generative AI chat. So look at this image here. The sidewalk, sidewalks bustling, the sidewalks bustling with pedestrians enjoying the nightlife. Yep, correct. At the corner stall, a young woman with fiery red hair dressed in a signature velvet cloak is haggling with the grumpy old vendor. Yes. A bustling street under the shine of the moon. That's in there. The grumpy vendor, a tall, sophisticated man, is wearing a sharp suit, sports a noteworthy moustache and is animatedly conversing on his steampunk telephone. Now, it's not described the style or anything like that, but it's given a full description of what it wants to see in the picture. And this is what it's generated according to OpenAI. Even with the same prompt, Dali 3 delivers significant improvements over Dali E. So here we are, an expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking, depicted as an explosion of a nebula. OK, so this is the before. This is Dali 2 over here and then this one here is Dali 3 using the same prompt which was a lot shorter but what they're really talking about is using natural language 
to create the images and being able to use detail in that language to get exactly what you want. DALI 3 is built natively on ChatGPT, as I said, which lets you use ChatGPT as brainstorming partner and refiner of your prompts. This is a great thing. I often use ChatGPT, having schooled it, educated, and how to create mid-journey prompts to create a mid-journey prompt. Well, ChatGPT is built into DALI 3. So you just ask ChatGPT what you want to see in anything from a simple sentence to a detailed paragraph. When prompted with an idea, ChatGPT will automatically generate tailored detailed prompts for DALI 3. This integration of ChatGPT and DALI 3 is another super, super tool that I think is going to push DALI 3 close to the top of the tree in terms of image generation. So this brings your ideas to life. If you like a particular image, but it's not quite right, you can ask ChatGPT to make tweaks with just a few words. The ability to tweak the image that you're working on, again, something that Midjourney can't really do, can do a little bit, and they've certainly added some updates to Midjourney that allow you to make some sort of changes, but it's still a bit of a hit and miss exercise. So here is the example. So in ChatGPT, they go, my five-year-old keeps talking about a super-duper sunflower hedgehog. What does it look like? So there we go. It comes up with the image. And you go, my daughter says its name is Larry. Can I see more like this? Can you show me Larry's house? And then could you describe something more about Larry? Give an example of being kind-hearted. I mean, this is really, really powerful stuff. Design me some stickers. So it's so it knows where you are in the flow. It knows the context of what you're saying. And then gives a little story. I mean, this integration of ChatGPT with an image generator like DALI 3 is going to be really, really powerful. And it'll be really interesting to see what can be developed with these two things combined. So DALI 3 is designed to decline requests that ask for an image in the style of a living artist, which is very interesting. Uh, something, of course, you can do in mid-journey. Creators can now opt their images out from training of our future image generations. So this is really kind of addressing the idea of training their image generation systems on existing artists and artworks and then you know we go in like i did on this example in the style of chris few here um again so that's something that dali 3 is looking kind of avoids you can't say do it in the style of salvador dali whatever and then these are some examples created by dali 3 i mean until i get to test it and test those same prompts in mid journey we won't really get a sense these are images that you know, OpenEye have created. We don't know how many attempts they've had at getting these right images. These are the best of the best images that they found. And you know, you can spend hours in mid-journey just firing away ideas and trying to get the image that you want until you get kind of incredible image. But what we're seeing here, tiny potato kings wearing majestic crowns, sitting on thrones, overseeing their vast potato kingdom filled with potato subjects and potato castles, of course. I mean, really, really cute. You've got the Bocker effect uh, or the Boker effect going on here as well. So really good photorealistic image generation of a uh, king potato. Again, these sort of monsters, they look very familiar. Illustration in flat design style of a diverse family of monsters. The group includes a furry brown monster, a sleek black monster with antennas. Look at the details. A spotted green monster. The ability to describe different characters is something you can't do in mid-journey. It's really hard to give detailed description and then ask it to create something with three distinct characters in the same in image on something like mid-journey. But according to Dali 3, this is something that you can do. A tiny polka dot monster all interacting in a playful environment. That ability for it to not miss out words, for you to be really descriptive, I think is really, really powerful. And again, look at here, a vintage poster for Venus, and it's got the spelling perfectly. I've tried doing vintage posters in 
mid-journey and of course it cannot do writing or letters but here it seems it can. The scene portrays the thick yellowish clouds of Venus with the silhouette of a vintage rocket ship approaching, mysterious shapes, hints at the mountains and valleys and again the bottom text reads explore Venus beauty behind the mist. This is going to be a game changer for graphic designers. I know so many things I've tried to create logos for my gaming channel and I want to have the, you know, my gamer tag, Lord Kenzel, in there. But I have to kind of create the image, take it out into kind of Photoshop or whatever, and then add in the letters on my own. And I never find the right font or typeface. Here you can do it. If they've, if they've nailed words... This is going to be really, really cool. I mean, definitely check it out on openai.com. Uh, they've got a whole page on Dali 3. They hope to roll it out to their lab in October to people who subscribe to ChatGPT, uh, so ChatGPT Plus users, and then they'll be rolling out a bit later after that. But really, really exciting things. I highly recommend you check out their page all about what they're doing with this, but I'm looking forward to it. And as soon as they've rolled it out, of course, I will be testing it, doing a, doing a comparison with Mid Journey and all of that. So there you go. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please hit the likes because I like it. YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find content like this. And if you're new to my channel, then do me the great honor. Please hit that subscribe button and toggle that notification bell. And that way you'll know when I upload videos just like this. Talking videos just like this. Why don't you check out the videos here? The ones I put on the screen over here. Thanks.